Hello everyone, SOND here. Welcome to the Manga Information Channel, and we have the narration of Chapter 1088. But before, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, and without further ado, let's go to the video. The title of Chapter 1088 is The Final Lesson. Page 1. Panel of Introduction. In the Old Navy Headquarters. We see that a class is happening. Someone says, Lesson 1 An Old Man and a Baby. You are with a boat that can only hold one person. What should you do? Then we go into the classroom. We see that it is Garp who is teaching the recruits. Then we see the young Kobe, very young, in his appearance from the East Blue. He says, I get off the boat, sir. So the two of them can get in and save themselves. Garp says, Rom, you idiot. The old ones are already with one foot in the grave. The younger ones still have a great future. Much more than the older ones. So you should save the baby. The baby. Kobe then says, Oh, I'm sorry, sir. A female Marine doesn't like anything about what Garp taught. And he hits Garp in the head, giving him a scolding after class. Please, don't give these kinds of talks anymore, all lives are equal. Garp disagrees, saying that the future of the young people has no limits. Page 2 Panel of Introduction Many weeks ago, on the island of women, Amazon Lily, someone says, Vice Admiral, we can't do anything but watch our comrades be taken. We are not allowed to attack, since the enemy is one of the four Yon coasts. We see some Marines crying because they are trapped. Please save us. We don't know what they're going to do to us on the pirate island. Ah. We see Kobe going to talk to Blackbeard. Then we see Teach who says, Well, if it's not Kobe the hero, what's the problem? Aren't you wanting to go to war with US, Captain Kobe? A Marine then says, He is a member of S.W.O.R.D., sir. Kobe then says, In exchange for the 800 soldiers and the ship that I requested, you can take me, take me alone. The crying Marines say, Captain Kobe, stop joking. The teacher then mocks the situation. Zihaha. It seems that you overestimate yourself, don't you? Page 3. Then the scene returns to the present. Pirate's Island of Hashnosu. Pizarro with his hand raised, about to descend on the Navy ship. UAHHH there is a gigantic hand coming from the island. The cannon attacks are not working. Then Tashiji says, It's impossible, we can't dodge it. Prepare to jump into the sea, everyone on the boat. Protect the citizens. Kujaku says, What a ridiculous power. Page 4. Panel of Introduction. Inside the island. We see Garp lying on the floor. Garp says, If this gigantic hand comes down, hundreds of people and marines will. Someone says, What can we do, Vice Admiral Garp? GARP Smile says, well, you will save them. Listen. I'm going to create an opening for you. Captain Kobe will destroy this gigantic hand. Gruss will protect the ship from the rubble of the destruction. And the Lieutenant Commander Helmepo. Make sure no one interferes with these two. Page 5. Garp, speaking directly to Kobe, says you must be able to make that decision, right? The three say yes, sir. Then we see the pirates who say, look, look, the others are moving. It's useless. What will they do without Garp? They can't do anything. They call you a hero. In relation to Kobe, you are just a loser, ha ha ha. As they run, Gruss says, Garp told you to destroy that hand, but do you have something there, Kobe? A bomb or something? Page 6. Kobe says, no, I don't have anything like that. P. 
Page 7. Then we see Kuzan who stands in front of the pirates. He says, Where do you think you're going? What are you going to do with those wounds, Garp? Garp says these are just flesh wounds. Kuzan says, and I'm here worrying about you, so naive. Then Garp attacks Kuzan with another powerful punch. The pirates are shocked. Page 8. Then we see a large beam moving, and Pizarro says, Hey, why is Garp here? Wait. You don't care what's going to happen to that ship? Garp then says, Galaxy Divide. A super explosion from the punch simply hits Pizarro. Pages 9 and 10. The shocked pirates shout. Pizarro-san, was that a punch? Pizarro shouts as he spits up a lot of blood. Kobe then says, Look at the quick opening, he said. Gruss says, yes, but what do you think you can do, Kobe? Kobe then shouts, I will meet your expectations. He then jumps. Gruss says, what, Kobe? Pizarro says, disgraced. Don't you think I'll admit it? Now I'm really furious. Look carefully what I'm going to do. Then we see that Pizarro's hand starts to come down with the incredulous looks of Kujaku. Garp then begins to remember. Page 11. Hey Helmeppo, he improved a lot quickly, but he seems to have bandages on his hands. As Garp remembers, the pirates say, Look, it's Kobe. Don't tell me he wants to stop that hand. I think the title of hero must have gone to his head. Back to Garp's memories as he smiles. Page 12. Helmeppo responds to Garp. Yes, his hands and shoulders are full of bandages. Kobe told me to keep quiet about it, but he said he's less talented for fighting than a normal person, so he has to try 100 or 200 times harder than anyone else. Kobe in his memory says, I'm going to train as hard as I can, become a marine to protect people. Garp says what? After our training, he still trains more. Helmeppo says yes, sir, he does it every night. He keeps punching the ship's bag continuously until his hands bleed. Then Garp returning from the flashback is smiling. We see Pizarro's hand. He says this is a hand against an insect ha ha ha. Double page 10 and 11. Hibari says, Kobe, this is dangerous. Pizarro says, watch everyone as I destroy that ship. But Garp says, Kobe, you can do it. Kujaku says, this is not good, everyone jump off the ship. Gruss screams, Kobe. Kobe shouting says, if I destroy that hand, no one will die, everything now depends on me. Honesty Impact Bam Kobe's punch destroys Pizarro's giant hand. Pizarro shouts, ah it hurts so much. The pit at us say, What? Pizarro Sama, page 13. We see many people in shock. Tashiji says, Kobe Kuen. Hibari, crying, says, Kobe, you're amazing. Everyone on the boat starts to cheer for Kobe. This is incredible. But what about the debris? Garp starts laughing. Helmeppo, shocked, says, Hey Kobe, was that real? Gruss says, Honestly, I didn't know you had that kind of power. Then Gruss creates a clay web to stop all the debris. As Kobe falls exhausted, Helmeppo holds him and says, Kobe, you were amazing. Kobe says, Helmeppo, I did it. Yes, you destroyed a mountain-sized hand. We see the pirates also thanking Prince Gruss for saving them. Everyone on the boat now says, now let's go save Vice Admiral Garp and get out of here. Hibari gives Kobe a big hug and says, thank you, Kobe. Then we see someone calling. It's Garp, and he says the mission is a success. Tashiji says, yes, sir, please come back to the ship quickly. Page 14 and 15. But Garp says, no, you all need to leave Hashinosu now. I'll find a way to get there on my own. The most important thing is that you're all safe. Kobe says, Prince, come back with this ship. Garp says, go away. 
This event will one day be known as a warning to all pirates. All of you are the future of the Navy. We see Garp stabbed in the chest by Kuzan's ice. We see Kuzan, his head down, as Garp is frozen. The scene changes, and the narrator begins to speak. The next day's newspaper announced the return of Captain Kobe, as well as the legendary hero Garp, who was missing on the island of Hashinosu. The incident on the island of Gerudo, Egghead, is also taken by the Straw Hat Emperor Luffy. End of chapter 1088. There will be no One Piece next week.